Push the button again, please God. Okay. Right now? Yeah. A powerful monster living jump. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> A powerful monster living down in the darkness, growled in pain, impatient as the day after day the music rang. Loud in the hall, the harps rejoicing, call of the poet clear songs, sung of the ancient beings of all of us recalling, the almighty making of the earth, shaping these beautiful plains, marked off by broad oceans. Pause. <laughs> he said pause. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dreamer who heard the moors, the wild marshes, and made his home in, in a hairy model, not, not hell, but earth. A storm in that storm, convinced by the pair of those two monsters born of pain, also known as Mike and Lori Arms. Murderous creatures, banished. Banished by God, punished forever for the crime of Abraham's death, the almighty glory of those demons out. The demons out, and the exile was bitter, shut away from men. They split into a thousand forms of evil spirits and things, goblins, monsters, giants, with a broad, a broad forever opposing the Lord's will against defeat. In the background you hear, Grendel was upset by Hogarth's men. They had started a rave party with their Mexican neighbors and caught his car on fire. He was obsessed with murder and revenge. He was so obsessed all he could express anger. The car was already SOL, so he had no choice but to take out some of his rage. Then the next night when he heard the singing, all he could do was the rage came back again. Get in the car, come on. Time for somebody to die. Okay. And then, when darkness had dropped, Grinda went up to Herod, wondering what the warriors would do in the hall where drinking was done. He found the party. <laughs>
as Grendel comes out up to Herod Hall, he is still mad about the rage that Herod's men have held for the past two nights. He is slowly anticipating all the men that he is just going to slaughter for trashing his car and those Mexicans. I like that car. That was his favorite car. That was a 1943 Ford Tiff. I got an idea, I'll just zoom in. I didn't say much about that land. Ah! I'm here to kill this monster that plagues your land. I don't like you. Get it! This ain't hurt! Uh, I 
Thank you, dude. Step on out. Step on out. All right. Yeah. 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 This is the situation. We just got done filming, and Jamie was dumb enough to stay in the boat. So we pushed him back out without a paddle. <laughs> oh, that was no! Dude, that was an egg. Oh, That's all right, I'll sink the boat later. Yes? Oh. Think you can take Grindel on, huh? Oh, yeah. Grindel's nothing. How do you say that? Well, is that a fault being a monster? Being a monster, huh? Yeah. What about that swim race you had? What about it? I don't recall. You lost. Oh, no. I didn't leave my sailboat broke down. I had to swim. When I started swimming, I had to fight all the sea creatures. Oh, okay. You lost. If you ever fought as many sea creatures as I did, you wouldn't be here. Oh, not here. You're not bad enough to take on the sea creatures. What sea creatures? The ones that attacked me. They attacked you? And besides, the rest was a tie. Whatever. Hmm. There's no tie. I think it's about time that I try to save myself. Save yourself? Mm-hmm. I'm confused. I feel like I'm about to drill with all your b****s. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm correct about this. <laughs> no, you're not. You lost the race. And you're going to lose to Grindel. Well, the only thing, I might have lost the race, but at least to get where I am at, I was mad enough not to kill my brothers. You sorry son of a <laughs> What do you know? A lot more than you, apparently. I didn't kill no brothers. What's that on this lighter? <coughs> King Herod? Go for the shoe. Have a moment? Sure. There you go. <coughs> there you go. King Herod, I am Baylor, Prince of the Geats. I'm King Hrothgar. Why is your hell called Herod Hall? It's King for me. Oh, so not only am I dyslexic, I have enunciation problems. Well, how's you coming up that? Well, I received a flyer one time, and uh, apparently me and all my men dressed up as goats when we were going to a toga party. Intriguing. Okay. Like a Beowulf answers the king's call and makes his triumphant return to Herod Hall.